YouTube. We finally got moved into the new house and the new shop. Moving is a chore. Um, sorry I've been slow on the videos. We got our new shop set up. It's got climate control this time, which is a good thing, but we're going to continue on with our videos. Um, give y'all part four of the series and uh, get this lure done and uh, come on with some new videos. We left so. off in video three. We had our lure. We had our lure sanded, dipped in paint. The bill slot was already cut. The belly weight was already inserted. All we did was we let it dry. We sanded it and then we re-dipped it again. This one's been dipped three times. Sanding in between but you can see how smooth the finish is and that's going to be the base of our paint we start painting on top of. We got our bill slot cleaned out. It had paint in it. Took a little piece of sandpaper and just cleaned out the slot enough and uh, we did our bill and I'm going to show you how to do that in just a few minutes before we paint the lure. So we take our circuit board bill that we purchased from Netcraft. This is a little small square bill. No hole in it. We're fixing to put our mark and our hole in it. We take the lure. We've already got base coated. We've already cleaned out the bill slot. We fit our bill. The bill fits nice. We line it up real straight. Eyeball it. We're going to take a marker. Just take a magic marker and we're going to make a mark dead in line with the lure about how far away from the lure we want our our hook eye, our string tie, our line tie to go on. So we've made a mark and we're going to drill a little hole in that so we can put our wire through it and have a wire in the bill. Alright, we got our bill, we need to put a hole in it, we got a dremel with a real sharp little bit. We're going to just start it in. This one's real, real keen tipped so it's easy to start it, don't walk on the material. We're going to drill a little hole, put our wire in. You could use a little small drill bit. I use the Dremel. It's a little better, but it makes a nice little hole. And that's where we're going to bend our wire and put our wire in the in the bill. So we got our 035 stainless steel wire we've been working with. Made the, the line tie, the hook holder on the rear, the hook holder and the belly weight. Cut us off a little length of that. We've got these pliers. I don't know, there's some kind of little craft pliers from Michaels or somewhere. You can use these. They make a nice bend. They're a little easier to work with. You can also use regular, regular needle nose pliers or even some round jeweler pliers to, to ramp your wire. But if you got needle nose pliers, they work fine. These pliers here, they got a little groove, a little trough. A lot of guys that make spinner baits use these. You just stick your wire, stick your wire in them, and when you squeeze it, it starts making a round bend because it's got a a little round groove in there so you start making your bend bend it all, wrap it all the way around so we can twist it once you get it bent like that I usually take another pair of pliers kind of go around the wire and grip it and then just twist it around till you make a nice looking little a little bend, a little line tie if you want to call it that or whatever that's going to fit in your bill Squeeze it closed. I use some regular, regular needle nose and straighten everything back up. Squeeze it closed and then we'll cut off our excess. We've got our wire twisted around. We're going to cut it off, cut it off real close. And this will feed through our bill. And I'll show you how that works. We also got other tools that, you know, if you make baits or whatever, this is a quick to twist wire. A, a Boggs tackle maker that you can feed wire in here and do real nice twists and make spinner baits and stuff. You can use these kind of tools. A little quick quick twist wire tool. This is real inexpensive and it makes a real nice twist. But you know, guys doing it yourself, you just got needle nose pliers, they work. This is what we did. We took our time. It's kind of tedious to get it bent real pretty and nice, but you're making the lure, so you determine how nice you want it and what you want it to look like. You take your time, you can make all these nice bins, all those tools just make it easier. So we take this, we're gonna cut off the excess wire and don't don't shoot yourself in the eye. This stuff will fly across the room when you 
cut it, but I cut it off real clean, as close as I can, then mash that little tip down if I can with the pliers. And we're going to feed it through our bill. We already made the hole in our little bill. We're going to stick the wire through. We got a little extra. You see how it fits in there like that? We'll hold it straight. Hold it where it's straight with the lure with a pair of pliers. Where the line ties straight, and we'll take and bend the wire back over the bill in that little slot similar to that. It's just wrapped around the bill and we're going to smash it down a little bit and we're going to put a hook right there to where when you insert it in the lure it's not coming back out. So we've got our line tie in the bill. There's the there's underneath where we made our twist. That's underneath the bill and we bent it over the end and we've got this little excess mount right here. We cut it off just behind the, the line tie we made with it sticking up a little bit and it makes a hook. So when you push this into the lure, that little old hook right there helps hook and hold it into, into the bait. And once you epoxy it in, it ain't coming out. And you want your line tie to be straight. Ours is leaning just a little bit, but you can take your needle nose pliers and just kind of tweak it. We just we drilled our hole just big enough for that loop not to go through. And we'll actually, when we get ready to Put this in and do the final coat. This will get some clear coat to help hold the line tie from moving. Of course, there'll be epoxy. That'll never move, and you can still tune the lure by grabbing that and twisting it side to side, whichever way you need the lure to track. So, we've got it made. We've already fit it to our lure. So, now it's time to get down to the, the painting of the lure. I'm going to use a spray paint for some, and I'm going to use an airbrush for some to show you the differences and how you can duplicate that with. Without having an airbrush, you can do it with spray paint too. You just have to take your time. 